Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, May 13th. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. Mm. <laughs> um, happy Friday the 13th for all of my creepy people out there, which I am one. <laughs> me and Devin love creepy movies, and um, we're just huge fans. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I want to hop on here today. I was going to do a Stitch Your Library, but it occurred to me this morning when I was getting ready to record it, I have not finished my project. <laughs> and I always do my Stitch My Libraries. Um, where I pick my own pattern that I've been wanting to make forever and then I finish it and then I share it with you guys and I haven't done that <laughs> so I was sitting working on my goose and I was thinking well yeah I'm gonna film my video here in a little bit and then I was like wait a minute my project I haven't even worked on it <laughs> so I'm gonna have to finish that and then it'll be out next week sometime this isn't the project this is just my goose from stringy ding ding uh, that I was working on so that's how far I've gotten so far <laughs> anyways this is my knit crate video this is April's knit crate because knit crates behind kind of the usual now but um its thing was conservatory which is a cool theme because I love plants and it came with those options for yarns <laughs> these three are the regular crate and these two are the sock crate and uh yeah so it's got coupon codes on there but I got da -da -da, clay pot <laughs> which is a pretty color but I probably won't use this because it's 100% merino wool and that's just not my thing. <laughs> the only reason I get knit crate is because they send it to me. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, it's not the kind of yarn I like to use. So I take it willingly from them. And then I either do giveaways or I trade it with people for other yarn. <laughs> but it's beautiful yarn. It's just I don't prefer animal fibers. So it is uh, Knitology Wisp, which is cool. And it's called Clay Paw. It's 100% merino wool and it is DK weight. There's 236 yards in each hank and hand wash all that stuff it is really pretty i like the green color too i've seen um let's see here doris got this color and someone else i think heather the crochet witch got this color and then someone got green who got green uh jane was it i think it might have been jane from scraptastic yarns i'm thinking she got the green color i can't remember now but the green color is called conservatory this one's called clay pot and then there's like a bluey purple that is called Rainfall. I haven't seen anyone get that one. I don't know. <laughs> but this is, I don't ever choose mine. I just let it be random because I don't care. <laughs> I usually give it away or um, trade it to Doris <laughs> for uh, yarn that I like because she likes using this kind of yarn to make all kinds of her clothes with that she makes her tops and stuff. Um, so I just trade her my yarn that I don't like and she gives me some acrylic yarn that I can use. <laughs> so um, I might hit up Doris and see if she wants this because she got uh, this color as well. So I'll, I'll probably email you Doris. <laughs> And uh, the extra this month was pretty cool. It was a little notebook. It would have been even cooler if it had, one, not been made in China. And two, had been made of, like, recyclable goods. Because that's kind of the thing they were going for, you know, with the conservatory. And they usually use recyclable bags and stuff. Um, so they could have maybe found some kind of recyclable uh, book or one that was made out of recycled goods or something. But this is made in China, so this is probably, uh, you know, just regular old stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's paper, but you know what I mean. You get, you know, like if they're going for that aesthetic, they should have, you know, went all the way. But it is a cool notebook, and I'm definitely keeping it. These are kind of like, um, it's not embossed, but it's like, it's like a cricket. You know, like when you put a cricket thing on something, and it's like risen up a little bit, and it's got the little stretchy thing and the little marker. I don't know what I'll use it for, but and I've got a million notebooks. I really don't need to keep it, but you can never have too many notebooks. <laughs> I might put it in my bag. So I'll have a notebook in the card for Jesse to steal one day when he's in the cardboard. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's the knit crate that I got. And like I said, I'm going to see if Doris wants it. If she doesn't want it, then I'll probably do a giveaway. I'm working on my goose today. I need to put it down though and work on my other project that was for my Stitcher library. And also, I wanted to mention, because I'm chatty and I like chatting a lot. June is sleepy right now. Um, I got a bunch of this Shaw on the Ball sometime, gosh, last year or the year before that. It was on sale at Lime Brand for like... It was one of those five for ten, I think, so they were like two fifty each. Um, and it's been on my shelf ever since then. And then uh, I pulled one out, and I actually wound it into a ball because of how it is. It's like really halo-y, and it gets stuck on itself. So, and I watched Lisa from Happy to Hook Crochet, and she talked about how when she got to the end of the, the skein, that it got all floppy and tangled up, and she ended up having to cut a bunch off. Um, so I was like, well, I'll save myself a headache, and I will wind it into a ball. And then I started working with it, and then I was like, you know what? I hate this yarn. <laughs> so I got five balls of these. Well, one actual ball, full ball, with its ball band. This colorway is uh, 
feng shui gray. And then I got another one of the feng shui gray, grays in an actual ball. It's really pretty. And then I have three of this one. What is this one called? I just read it. Peaceful Earth. It's got greens in there. It's really pretty, earthy tones. And I'm never gonna use this because I don't like it. So I think I'm gonna give them away one bowl at a time because you can make um, a shawl out of one of them, hence the name. So I think I'll give away one in this video. I'll give away this one. This is a, it's called Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball. It is, let's see, it's a number four. Ha ha ha, ha ha. This is not a number four. Lies. I know when they, they measure it, they wrap it around like a little measuring thingy and they count the halo, but this is not number four. <laughs> that is a lie. This is maybe a number three, but that's even pushing it. This seems to me more like a number two. Blew, I don't like it at all. Uh, let's see here. It is 481 yards. Uh, it is 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fibers. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, any other information on here? It says to use a J hook. So it will make something super drapey, obviously. You know, if you want it to be a shawl, it would be drapey. But, uh, I just don't like this yarn at all. <laughs> like, it's pretty yarn, and it's soft, but it's just a butt to work with. I am, this is the kind of person I am. I enjoy making amigurumis and house decorations and every now and then garments like that. Um, I don't enjoy making dainty little shawls and doilies and things that take tiny yarn. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I'm going to give this away in this video and then eventually I'll give the other ones away. This one will just be in a ball, but it is a full skein. I completely just pulled out what I did and just wound the rest of it up. So, it is a full ball. But anyways, this one, if you want to... Um, enter to win it. Uh, I have to open it only to US only and I hate doing that because I know I got viewers all over the place but uh, shipping is really expensive right now. Everything is. <laughs> but um, I'm just trying to keep my costs down. You know? So this is only US only. Uh, but if you want to enter to win it just in your comment down below use the word peaceful and uh, I will draw. What is today? Today's Friday. So next Friday I will draw a winner. What is next Friday? The 20th? I think next yeah the 20th because it's jesse's last day of kindergarten um and then i'll announce the winner like next saturday the 21st uh so just use the word peaceful it's not affiliated with anyone i bought this with my own money <laughs> uh you gotta be a subscriber because i you know i like to get my subscribers things not just random people on the internet uh which by the way i was looking at my analytics and 20 percent of the people who watch me are not subscribed so if you're one of those 20 percent subscribe because <laughs> then you won't miss any of my videos and hit the little bell or whatever i don't know whatever people tell you to do in videos um so yeah and then i'll ship this off to you as quickly as possible it'll come in a mailer so yeah but uh it's pretty i like it i really like the gray one i got the gray for me because i like grays and blacks but i just i don't want to deal with the headache of working with it i uh i like working on stuff like this i don't like working on stuff like this because it's time consuming i go slower i keep dropping my stitches and it's just not worth the hassle to me. I like to crochet for fun, not for like a job. I don't sell items. I don't make things to sell. I sell things that I make, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, but anyways, that's my knit crate. That's my talk about my goose and the yarn that I don't like. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and try to get this up before June wakes up. She's napping. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I have a video for tomorrow. Um, I don't remember what it is. I think it was supposed to be my knit crate video. I don't know. I'll see you for sure Sunday because that's when I'm announcing the winner for the knitting needles. If you haven't entered that, um, go back a few videos and find that. So I'm about knitting needles and enter that. Uh, I'm drawing that winner uh, Saturday night, you know, sometime that night. And then I'll announce the winner Sunday morning. Sometime. Someday. Sometime. <laughs> Not necessarily morning. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.